Part 3. Penicillin cannot pass through the glomerulus or basement membrane, however it's secreted along the whole length of the proximal convoluted tubule. So this is what's happening. Penicillin is being transported into this proximal convoluted tubule in the nephron. And that's why the graph is going up. So the graph is showing essentially how much is in this tubule. And so as we go along the length of the tubule, this goes up and that is just the penicillin being secreted. And this line here is just saying if it diffused in, this is the maximum that you could get. Or if, if we already know that water is leaving this proximal convoluted tubule, so water is leaving this. But even if we did all those calculations and so on, um, this penicillin here, the level of it, the concentration of it is too high uh, for to be accounted for by diffusion or water moving. And so this is a typical sort of question. Um, you go, well, which form of transport could it be? And the answer is, it's active transport. Now we have a tricky little, a tricky little bit. During the Second World War, um, they gave the soldiers who were infected uh, penicillin, of course, but also this other PA drug. Use the graph to describe. So we're going to describe and explain. We're going to explain the effect of this drug and, and suggest the advantage. So we're going to give an advantage. So there's three marks there. Describe, explain and give an advantage. So it's this line here. So first of all we need to describe the effect of the drug. Well, if we give the drug, then the tubular filtrate to plasma ratio is less than with penicillin alone. So that's the, that's the description. So if we're given this extra drug, there's essentially less in the filtrate. So less in the filtrate. So uh, concentration of penicillin does not increase as much in the filtrate. So it doesn't increase as much as it does with without the, the drug. Or alternatively the other way around is saying it, it remains in the blood or the body. Um, it remains in the blood. And that'll be useful for our advantage in a in a second. Explain how this happens. Well my handy little diagram here, penicillin is being actively transported by the cells of the proximal convoluted tubule into the tubule, into the filtrate. Well, what does the drug do? What can we suggest? Well, we can suggest it, it stops these cells from actively transporting. We don't know how, it could block things, it could do all sorts, but that's the bit of information that we need. So prevents, so the explanation is uh, prevents Come back, come back, come back. There we are. Oh, I heard it. I need to uh, think about how to solve that. So prevents 
secretion of penicillin by the cells of the proximal convoluted tubule you know, into the filtrate. Okay, well, how can we suggest an advantage to the soldier? Well, on my little diagram here, if we are not, we're not getting rid of penicillin anymore, because this penicillin would, this, where's this filtrate going? This filtrate is going out into the bladder. So just give penicillin alone, then a lot of penicillin is going to be lost in urine. Whereas if we give this drug, it's going to stay, stay in the body, stay in the blood. And of course, then that will be able to fight infection better. So uh, less penicillin. Lost in urine. And it is kept in the blood on the body. So you, you could actually, you, you wouldn't need to give the soldier as much penicillin as well. So you could use less. Uh, so quite a tricky three marks to get that.